Well, hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Kurt Bob. Well, um, one of my brothers is in the Navy and flies jets, which is awesome, but it sucks he's got to be away for several months at a time. And um, so I want to do something special for him by way of making him a painting, you know, something he could take with him on the boat. And so I did a little recon and looked at some of these YouTube videos to have, you know, like a dorm room tour. And they don't have much, they don't have no painting space. So the best I could come up with was a small wooden nine inches by 12 inches with really strong magnets on the back painting. And uh, yeah, I made those and they turned out really well. And so I was, I'm excited about it. I put one on my office door and one on the fridge. So I thought I, I kind of want to make another round of these smaller paintings on wood canvases and I I didn't want to, I didn't want them to be the exact same for whatever reason so I looked in YouTube for uh, or I think I searched unique canvases and this round thing showed up I, I like just it was just enough where I thought huh, what if I dissected a Bob Ross painting and uh, you can see I sketched on the bottom here a little started kind of sketching out a Bob Ross painting the elements and I thought what if I just do puzzle pieces of it so I I cut it apart kind of you know the mountains and the sky and the trees and then just kind of went with it traced it onto wood and then cut it with the bandsaw if I had to do it over again I would um, do it onto multiple pieces that way I didn't have to cut such tight corners um, but I actually had m prepped a few other of those they I had some small wood canvases that I'd made, like the one I made for my brother. Well, there you can see I've rounded the corners of the sander and added several layers of white gesso primer and um, set up a second canvas so I could actually, well, a first canvas, whatever, so I could do a little bit of a rough draft and have something to kind of eyeball in case this got confusing on me. I also kind of had to come up with on the fly because I hadn't really thought about it how to mount this canvas being separate pieces so I just came with a metal surface that I could ruin which was this old pizza pan that was already kind of rusty and I used it to when I would sweep up the floor in the garage I would use it to sweep all the nuts and bolts and sandpaper or uh, sawdust on so I could filter out the sawdust and go through the leftover hardware on the floor and sort it out so anyways um if I had to do over again, I would get a larger one and I would put a little bit of paint on it or something grippy because the pieces kind of wanted to slide when I moved the brush on them sometimes. And I had to like, you'll see, I kind of hold it with a finger. So it worked fine ish, but they, it was being too small. They clanked into each other a little bit, but, um, yeah, overall it was fine. So here I am finishing the highlights and uh, low lights on these um, on the mountains and that that little mountain piece with the jagged top and the kind of round bottom and uh, the rounded corners I think it really turned out cool I think it really just pops so um, I'm gonna actually make a f bigger one of just those just mountains but like that jagged on the top maybe two foot wide foot tall something like that but a, a scaled up version of that so I'm pretty excited about that I did want to give a huge shout out to Bones over at Next Door Aquatics as well as Trudy and Robbie Bones huge fan appreciate what you guys are doing and I like the motivation um, Next Door Aquatics asked me if just a few questions um, just to help them kind of get their editing under control and this and that. And uh, it's really sparked some, <laughs> some of my excitement again. I was like, you know what? I used to really be excited to do this. Why am I not? So, um, I'm, yeah, here I am. Thank you. What else is going on? Oh, my gosh, guys. I have a huge bucket list for the summer. Let me share it with you, okay? You can see I'm painting. You know what I'm doing. What do you mean to tell you I'm doing trees? <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> they don't look too much like trees. Onto the bucket list. Okay. I am painting. 
All right, and some of these are basic, but don't be hating. I'm going to go bowling. I'm going to go skating. I'm going to go axe throwing. I'm going to go to the driving range. I'm going to go to a mountain bike park. I'm going to go on a mountain bike camping trip. Not like bike packing, if you know what that is. Not that. But go camp somewhere, mountain bike nearby. I am going to go on go-karts. I want to go to a museum, preferably like a museum of science or um, something technical, something like that. I'm going to go to a techno, techno concert, hopefully like Grizz or something like like a hard, awesome, dirty techno. I'm going to play darts. I know that's, okay, that's basic, but I'm definitely going to play. When, when have you played darts last? All right, or pool? I'm going to do it this summer, you know? Just see what it's like. Go with Webster or something. Dave and Buster's on the list might not do it. Indoor climbing, 100% going to do it. Archery. Yes, archery. That was a good one. I forgot to put it on there. I'm going to go to the shooting range. I'm going to play golf. I'm going to go to, that's a particular park. I'm going to visit my friends in Chicago. I'm going to go frisbee golfs with someone. So I'm, I may have to... Um, ask a friend to take me because I've never been frisbee golfing same with airsoft paintball I'm going to go again with Webster I'm going to go to the fair this year because yes why wouldn't you and I'm going to go to the county fair this year because I'm not playing I've done sat at home a little too long <laughs> I'm ready for an adventurous summer I'm ready for next winter to be ready for winter it's like ready for the break you know I'm going to go on a boat. I know some with the boat. I'm going to go out with them. And I know some with jet skis. I'm going to go do that. I want to go hiking, which I can do in town. I want to go. Uh, it's on the list. I might not do it. Uh, indoor skydiving. It's, it's a thing. Pottery class. I want to, I want to like spin pottery and, and, and make like at least a few pottery pieces and then see if it's something I could buy a lump of clay and do myself. I'm going to play bingo. <laughs> I know that's so basic, but... Have you played bingo? You know, get out there and play some bingo, y'all. Oh boy! Well, thank you for joining me for my um, my little unique canvas and um, adventures of the pre-adventure check-in. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have good vibes for the day, and I'll talk to you next time. This has been Kurt Bob.